Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, December the 27th, as we head into the last week of 2010. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it looks like we have one more extremely cold day and then one very cold morning and then it looks like the warm-up begins skycam network this morning oh man that looks like a mean looking sky it really isn't but it sure looks that way this morning over birmingham and if we take a look at trustville yesterday it was all white this morning it's not quite as white looks like most of the snow has melted in the areas that got maybe a little sun yesterday although there wasn't a lot of sun uh, but the shadows are still where the snow remains and russellville up in northwest alabama Definitely snow still on the ground up there, uh, but the parking lot looks completely clear. Isn't that wonderful? High pressure at the surface has settled in over Arkansas, and that's going to be bringing us one of our coldest nights of the 2010 year, uh, along with the northwesterly flow aloft that is uh, still dominating the eastern part of the country, bringing a lot of uh, winter weather to the East coast of the United States as that surface low moves up that uh, brought us our snow uh, just a couple of days ago. Uh, already seems like a distant memory, doesn't it? Temperature is definitely cold. Look at those single digit values. Uh, some of those all the way down into Missouri and uh, parts of uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota and, and uh, the Dakotas. Iowa, uh, definitely some cold, cold air. Definitely chilly here. We're below freezing across central Alabama, but the clouds stuck in and helped to give us a little bit of a blanket so we didn't get quite as cold as we were forecasting, or at least I was forecasting anyway. But it looks like tonight that cloud cover will be gone and we should see temperatures dip down quite a lot. Still, uh, that storm system wreaking havoc from the Carolinas all the way up to uh, uh, the New England states. Uh, but those advisories and warnings will be uh, diminishing today as that storm system finally gets uh, away from us and away from the east coast of the United States. QPFY's forecast, most of the precipitation for the next five days is going to stay off to our west, but uh, some of that may inch in here around uh, the end of the period, around Thursday, Friday time frame. 060 GFS model run shows the high settling in uh, over the Mid-South uh, by noon today, and by tomorrow morning, we're going to be coming under a bit of a ridge, so the changes are going to be fairly quick. Uh, but, of course, tomorrow morning will still be very, very cold with that high pressure uh, centered over, uh, oh, about Hattiesburg or so. Then on Wednesday, uh, the ridge amplifies just a little bit. We get a little short wave, actually a couple of short waves. You can see one out there near the Four Corners and one over uh, central Texas. We get a couple of little short waves that uh, actually could create a little bit of precipitation off to our west. You remember the on the QPF chart, we saw that. Uh, and uh, that precipitation, of course, not uh, coming our way on Wednesday. But the little short wave comes across the Gulf Coast on uh, Thursday and on the 30th of December, and that will uh, help to generate the possibility of some showers and some uh, patchy rain across uh, the state of Alabama, especially down to the south. Friday, uh, that little short wave is gone, and we're back to the main ridge, uh, generally along the east coast of the United States and the main trough, uh, generally uh, coming into Texas. And so that keeps the precipitation primarily off to the west from us. Uh, but notice how that trough is really bringing that cold air down into uh, southern New Mexico and the Texas uh, uh, El Paso area. And the precipitation, uh, certainly uh, have to have that in the forecast on Friday, but it looks like a lot of it will be off to our west. The, uh, the big trough kicks out pretty nicely on uh, Saturday, the 1st of January, 2011. And, of course, that will bring rain our way. And uh, the cold air a little bit behind the precipitation this time, so it looks like this should be just a rain event. And then Sunday, that trough uh, is up into the... Great Lakes area, and another trough is coming into the Four Corners area, and of course that drags the frontal system down our way. The real cold air stays to our north, but we certainly will cool back off again, but just not as cold as we uh, have been. And then by the 3rd of January 2011, we're back under a bit of a ridge and a southwesterly flow, so that means we should see a fairly uh, substantial warm-up as we get into the first few days of January. Now looking out into uh, voodoo country 
uh, we've got another big trough to deal with around the 8th of January, and then we get under a very large ridge with the big trough out in the Pacific instead of on the West Coast, uh, and that could uh, spell a period of uh, dry and relatively mild weather uh, for a good portion of the country. But you know what it is. It's voodoo, so we'll have to wait and see. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted by 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Monday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.